Danger Dolan. Chaos Rex 1487 asks, Hello DD, I was interested in how you feel about how they've structured actually effectively making money in the game. Like how playing the auction house and massive amounts of farming are the only really effective ways to make a lot of gold. And how that has been even more stressed now in 5.4 by the fact that dailies do not give a fifth of what they did last patch. Meaning that those of us who don't farm are going to be pretty damn poor. How do you think this should be addressed, if at all? Well, I mean, it's always been like that. You either farm for hours, or you keep both eyes glued to the virtual stock market as it were. As for dailies, I mean, after the Pandaria launch fiasco, I don't think dailies are gonna remain a factor in future expansions. From BC through to Wrath, they were a viable gold making option, an exhausting one though. I don't really want to get in the topic of whether or not they should bring back dailies or have some type of endgame questing in which you can make money. I can totally see from Chaos Rex's point of view that we need more ways to make money based on player's interest. But it's just like the rep system from Cataclysm. If you make it so that a player can just run a dungeon and get gear, but they can slap on a tablet and it makes them a lot of money at the same time, that's not keeping people interested. People aren't working hard to get that gold, and that just has a negative impact on the entire game. When you run certain types of content, you either get like valor points or you get gear, and that as a reward in itself is fine. There's a sense of progression there. But there's other certain types of content and whether or not you think it's interesting is entirely subjective. But if a guy is farming constantly in the same area and he's really committed to doing it and no one else is, that means all the gold that he earns, it's worth a lot more because he put in the time and he got it and other people require it. If someone has the option between doing a really fun dungeon and getting a lot of gold really fast and letting this other guy farm a bunch of turtles because you can't be bothered, then all those people who use the gold from the dungeon runs are gonna destroy the economy because there's too much gold now. And that is the key difference between gold and like gear and valor points. Gear is soul bound, valor points is soul bound. Gold is something that you can always use through all expansions. It should not be easy to get. And furthermore, you can contest this, but it shouldn't be overly fun. The fun is the reward at the end. A lot of people work for a living and they get money. That money is what is fun. The work probably sucks. And in this game, the majority of the players are broke or they've got very little money or the money they've got from just doing everyday tasks like LFR dungeons. It's enough to get them by. And the people in game who have a lot of gold and the people in real life who have a lot of money, they're either extremely lucky or they work damn hard. Or they just buy off gold farmers or they run a bot. It just depends on whether or not you're a cheap bastard. But if you're looking to legitimately make a lot of gold in this game, no matter which way you slice it, it's gonna take you time or effort or usually both. The key though is that you can choose how you would like to earn that gold. Farming doesn't just encompass gathering herbs or mining nodes. You could solo level 85 Blackrock Caverns and sell the greens, you know, make a few thousand gold every hour. You could solo old raids and sell the pets. You could find a spot in Jade Forest and just farm the turtles. You can level a new tune and send all the money you make from quests to your main. If you save flasks and food bar food just before a major patch, you can make a huge profit from all the casuals mass buying at the last minute for the new raid on patch day. Exalted Tiller's Farm turns over a nice little lump of profit every now and then. But most importantly, it's all about your goals. Are you dedicated enough to reach the gold cap? Are you willing to put in the time? Does it mean that much to you? Now, I remember back in Wrath, I saw the Meccano Hog on the game's shipping box, and I thought to myself, no matter what it takes, I will get this mount. I don't care what body parts I have to suck, I will get this mount on my tune. So it didn't take me long to find out it cost 15,000 gold worth of engineering materials to get it made. And back then, I'd never even gotten close to getting a thousand gold. But damn it, I was on a crusade and nothing would stop me. Back then, you could only do 25 dailies per day, so I did all 25 dailies per day each day for an entire month. And every so often, I supplemented it with herbalism and mining farming roots. So a month after the expansion launched, I finally racked up enough gold to buy the mount, and it was glorious. Not only because it looked amazing, and I was the only person on the server who got it that fast, but because I knew I had earned it. And there are plenty of videos in YouTube that show you ways to earn gold, and there are even some add-ons like Tycoon, which help you play the auction house. You just need the initiative to follow their advice and put in the time. So to sum up, I agree with Chaos Rex that there should be more ways like dailies to get gold. But of course, I don't believe that there should be more exciting or more accessible ways to get gold. It should always be difficult, quite monotonous, 
and it should act as like a deterrent for most players who don't have the time. As someone who never really has a lot of gold, I'm always interested in some kind of a marathon where I collect as much gold as I can, try to reach the gold cap. If I was a streamer, then I would do it. Maybe I still will one day in like a YouTube video. And for absolutely no reason at all, I would like you guys to listen to the Alice Cooper song, uh, Make That Money. I have it linked down below. I can't play it in this video because of copyright. But if there is one song on this planet that makes me pump to make money or make gold, that is the one. It also sounds fantastic. That's it for this chat box. If you would like to see me cover a gameplay topic really quick, leave a comment below. Have a good one. <laughs>